Find the 27th term of the arithmetic sequence, seven comma three comma negative one comma negative five and so on. Because we have an arithmetic sequence, we will determine the 27th term using the formula a sub n equals a sub one plus the quantity n minus one times d. a sub one is the first term and therefore a sub one is seven. D is the common difference or the value that we are adding each time to determine the terms in the sequence. Notice how the terms are decreasing by four and therefore we are subtracting four or adding negative four each time and therefore the common difference D is negative four. We can also determine the common difference D using the formula D equals A sub N minus A sub N minus one which means we can determine D by taking any term in the sequence other than the first term and subtracting the term before it. Notice three minus seven is negative four, negative one minus three is negative four, and negative five minus negative one simplifies to negative five plus one, which again is negative four. And then if we're trying to determine the 27th term, we know n is equal to 27. So now we know that a sub 27, the 27th term, must be equal to a sub one, which is seven, plus the quantity n minus one is the quantity 27 minus one times the common difference d, which is negative four. And now we simplify using the order of operations, simplifying inside the parentheses first, 27 minus one is 26, a sub 27 is equal to seven plus 26 times negative four. Next we multiply before adding, 26 times negative four is negative 104, giving us a sub 27 is equal to seven plus negative 104, and seven plus negative 104, which is also equal to seven minus 104, is equal to negative 97. So now we know the 27th term is negative 97. I hope you found this helpful.